What's up guys? We have such an insane house tour to show you today. It's actually an exclusive house tour because it's currently off market. So you won't see this on Rightmove or Zoopla. It's six million pounds and we're in Chiswick. And if you want any more details about this house, we'll put the owner's email in the description. Yeah, so that's West London. We've got Gunnersbury tube station really close. And then um, we're quite close to Acton and that Ealing area as well. But we put a map on the screen for those who don't know where this exact location is. Um, and now before we get into the tour, we just wanted to remind you guys about the Zeus app. So if you're looking to sell or let your property, you can upload the details, type in how many bedrooms it has, bathrooms, and then estate agents will be able to provide you a pretty innocent valuation. And yeah. you can then invite them out if you want to put your house on the market. And also agents, if you want to start generating some more leads, make sure to yeah. download it. Anyway, should we go inside and start the tour? Before we go outside, uh, yeah. inside, sorry, should we just show this area because yes. it's quite cool. You've actually got off-road parking for about three cars. Yes. Um, and obviously in London, parking is a big premium, so that's really worth showing. And this property was pretty much brand new. They had to keep the facade of the house, um, but inside it's pretty much all brand yeah, new. Yeah, everything's new. And then opposite, you've got a church that was built in 1877, and there's quite a cool photo inside of the yeah. house next to that. So yeah, in come on through. In 1877 which is a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the main entrance now. I'm gonna quickly pop the floor plan up on the screen, so pause to read. It's around 4,000 square feet in total. Now, before we go into the first room, I just wanna show you guys this awesome peephole. So when somebody's knocking at your door, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's like a video of the outside. Can you see it? It's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was a cool feature. Now, throughout the house, you'll see some amazing and quite intricate detail. So, for example, the ceilings here above this light piece, um, amazing detail, and then you've got yeah. the same on the panelling on the walls. Let's take you through to the open plan family area first. So you've got double doors, and then it just opens up to this amazing area that was originally two spaces, mm -hmm. um, and then there's also been an extension on the end where the Velux windows are. On the floor, you've got large onyx porcelain, porcelain onyx slabs, um, they Take look a look at how big they are. It's yeah. just incredible. And then should we start at the kitchen? Yeah, so we've got this amazing kitchen island with like a natural finish on top. Yeah, this is onyx marble. Yeah. Or marble onyx, I'm not too sure. Onyx marble. <laughs> where you say it. And then you have a Novi um, hob with the extractor fan built into the hob. So a lot of the extractor fans are like above the hob. This one's inside. And throughout this area of the kitchen, if we start at this side, there's an amazing amount of storage, and we've also then got the fridge and freezer. There we go, so that's Miele. And then come across here, we've got the Miele coffee machine, the microwave grill um, or oven, and then we've got a Miele wine fridge here. And I'll just point out the cooling system. There's a cooling system throughout the house and speakers. Um, so you can get that music on. This house has an awesome basement, yes. which we'll show you soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then on this side, you've got your large sink, and then you also have another Miele oven in the island down here, which is good. And then lots of deep drawers. This gold hardware here on the tap is the only gold boiling hot tap that I've seen. It's a cooker yes. brand, boiling hot tap. Um, I've not seen a gold one before. And I also love up here how we've got the tinted cabinetry of all of the um, plates and everything tucked mm -hmm. away behind it. It's really neat. Then for heating, it's all underfloor heating. Um, looks super modern and neat with no radiators. And then the feature wall with the TV, with this wooden feature. It's such a great minimalist vibe. Yeah. I think a lot of this house, the shots just look like they came straight from Pinterest. Yeah, so I love cool. it. So you've got space over here for sofas. So it's more of like a chill out area, daytime lounging. And then downstairs would be the more cinema room. Yeah, that's it, because up here there's so much light coming in that it's such a cool place for the daytime, but downstairs is quite ambient, a bit darker. Yeah, let's head through to the dining room now. This has got a very different vibe to in here, so this is very modern, and then they've gone for like a classical um, style in here. Okay, come on in, Matt. So this is a really special room, so they've gone for American walnut flooring in herringbone um, style, and then the walls. It's a shame that you can't feel through the camera. That because would be good. It's basically black sand mixed with paint. So it kind of has like a rough texture to it. Um, and that like beigey, do you know what I mean? It feels, feels kind of rough, but yeah. it suits the room. 
So a lot of the house is like really modern, but also classical. Like this room is completely yeah. cla classical. It suits this house when it was originally constructed. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And it's a big space. You've got a huge table here, 10 seater table. And let's show the um, picture from 1877. Yeah, so over here, Matt, this is the picture that we talked about outside. And that's the Gunnersbury Baptist Church. And then here is this house. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep the tour going. So to the left of me here, we have the downstairs WC. You also have a lot of mirror storage. And then when you walk into this room, the light automatically turns on. And this is a Vilroy and Bosch toilet. There are some toilets that automatically open up in here. Um, the one downstairs and one upstairs and they have like heaters, special jets. Yeah, it's the Japanese style. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now guys, we've got so much to see down in this basement. Should we go yeah, check it out? Let's go. So guys, before we show you this whole space, we have actually filmed a behind the scenes vlog of today where we toured this property and, and another penthouse in London at 10 million and also a home in Ashley Park at around um, mm -hmm. 4.3 million. So go check out our vlog channel. The details will be in the description below. Right, let's start on this side of the basement. So this is the cinema room. You've got the projector, and then there's something quite special behind the projector, but we'll wait to show you that. Um, and then check out these paintings on the wall. Yeah, these are so cool. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, I want something like that in the future, <laughs> I love it. Um, so it was taken, the idea was taken, there used to be a painter that painted war generals when they came back. Yeah. And they've kind of like taken that style and, and put celebrities put on movie it. stars. Yeah, they're all movie stars. And then you've also got this space up here. Yeah. Let's test it out. <laughs> and it has this really comfy backrest. Such a cool chill spot. And then it gives you an elevated seating position above the main chairs. Yeah. So you can all enjoy this cinema room. Okay, we're going to put the projector up now. And there's a surprise, so keep watching. Um, let me just put that down. So I've got something really cool to show you here. Yeah. Very James Bond-like. You ready? Dun, dun, dun. This is cool. Now that's, now I'm talking. <laughs> that is so gangster. Wow, and these skulls are from Tulum, which is cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> cool, right? Right, let's leave that up for now so we can see it. And let's keep exploring. So round here you have kitchen, four ring induction hob and an oven. But yeah, sweet little kitchen for down here. This down here actually could be like its own little apartment. Yeah because there is a bedroom and access. That's it, so over this side, we've got this quite cool Alice in Wonderland style wallpaper. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland, yeah. <laughs> Foresty jungle wallpaper. Yeah, and then this is like a really trippy mirror. Yeah, infinity mirror. So when you look in it, it looks like it just goes into like a big black tunnel. It's so trippy. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got, just before we show you the bedroom, we've also got this downstairs shower room. Oh, the toilet seat went up automatically. Yeah. But yeah, it's a really big shower. Check this out. And then we've got the black hardware surrounding. And then, does anyone know what molecule this is? Please don't do this in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is about this um, place down here as well, they've gone for like a concrete look on the ceiling. And then if you look at all the lights, they all have their own individual wire. So rather than like one main wire going to the lights, there's literally every single light has its own one. It kind of makes like a nice track on the ceiling. Yeah, and this light is the longest wire, so it goes all yeah. the way through here. And then at the top, you've got um, a concrete style paint finish. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then you have the speakers too. Throw some parties down here. So this here is gonna look really cool. There's gonna be a cactus bit here. We'll pop a picture on the screen up of what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, so this is currently set up as a bedroom, but it could be a little gym space. I quite like it as a bedroom. Yeah. Is that storage behind you, Matt? A few a wardrobes? Yeah. yeah, you've got a lot of storage in here, sliding drawers. Nice. And then you have sort of a living space over here with some panelling on the wall. And this is sort of like a, a felt velvet material which gives a nice contrast on the paint. 
There's electric blinds throughout a lot of the house as well. So like even here, you can see you've got these big um, blackout blinds. So you could create this space. Yeah. Obviously, it'd be nice for a bedroom. Now we have that special thing to show you, which was behind the projector. Let's go check that out now. Take a guess on what you think it is. <laughs> here we go for the wine lovers. The wine lovers, so was it 220? 220, I think. Yeah, 220 bottles. Wine bottles. So you can see, you know, could you guys fill this up? How many wine bottles do you have? Yeah. <laughs> I like that it's, you know, hidden in a way. Yeah, it's a nice display. It's cool. Yeah. I like that feature. And you've got a remote control, so you can, like, dim the lighting, turn it up. And then also you've got ventilation system built yes. in um, to keep the wine like, at the right temperature. Awesome. Okay, now we've got the bedrooms to show you. Um, so let's head up to the first floor. We have three bedrooms on this floor and a bathroom. So come on in here. This is all onyx marble, all black. Um, looks great. And then you've got mirror storage up here. And then a large walk-in shower. <laughs> and now Matt will show you the bedrooms. Yeah, come on in. So we've got one of the guest bedrooms through here. Um, has great views to the church across the road. Um, but yeah, good sized little bedroom. And then you've got some wardrobe built-in storage over that side. I'll show you guys the next bedroom. Come, Come with me. This is currently set up as a study, but obviously it could be a bedroom as well if you needed it to be. And then you've got the front aspect with these two large windows. And they also have a blackout blind. Next up, we've got the main bedroom behind me. So. Here we go. You can see it's a bigger bedroom than the others. We've still got the amazing ceiling detailing throughout. And then in here, we've got three big windows as well, which makes it super bright. So then in front of me is like a dressing area. Um, so you've got these built-in storage spaces, but that's not all. This room has a really cool feature. Someone will show you. Yeah, so obviously this is, you've got wardrobes here. But there's something special behind this door. Dun, dun, dun. We're going into the ensuite. Did, that, did you see that? That just went up. <laughs> the toilet seats. Yes, the toilet seats are pretty spectacular in this house. And you have, um, this is onyx marble again on the back wall. Like you've got three large slabs um, which look incredible. And then this gold brushed hardware for the shower and the bath. And then this is a sink. Well, again, lots of mirror storage. But yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Hidden in the Yeah, covers. I love that it's hidden. And I love so this headboard. Cool. Yeah, like, like the velvet style. Up to the ceiling. And also then like the gold finishes on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, really let's nice. take you guys up to the next floor. Um, still a lot to see. Yeah. So yeah, meet your Okay. Okay, it's super bright on this floor as above me is an entire skylight. It's actually really bright. I can't actually look up. I know, it is. One of the biggest <laughs> skylights that I've seen. You can see everything. You've got a little window here. Now let's go into this bedroom here. You've got a, re a reading corner here, because this is floors for mainly for the kids. Yeah, um, it's quite a cute spot, yeah. just chill. You look cute there. Thanks. <laughs> so you've got a double bedroom, double bed, sorry, and then the ceiling height's actually really good in this, this floor, because a lot of time on the third floor can sometimes get a little bit low on the head height. And because they were refurbishing absolutely everything, yeah. they had the opportunity to change some of the ceiling heights and the floor levels. So that's really cool. And then in front of me is the ensuite, which has got matte black hardware, gray tiling, you've got a toilet, and then, oh, the bath is actually cutely tucked in here. If you can see that, you've got the shower over bath. Yeah. And then the other bedroom is currently used as storage, but it's basically a mirror image of this bedroom. So the door is just over here. Should we head out to the garden? Yeah, let's go check it out, let's go. Okay, back downstairs in the kitchen. We do have a special guest in this video. We actually love showing the pets. Yeah, that's the like the tours. best bit of the tour. Yeah. We're having like more and more appearances from, from pets in the tours. This is the cutest cat I've ever seen. I mean, apart from my two cats that I have, but this is also the cutest one. Very soft fur. Right? Very fluffy. It's living a very lavish lifestyle yeah. on this bar. It's beards like yeah. mine. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, let's go and show you guys the garden. So you've got a mixture of outdoor terrace, patio area and lawn. And then as you can see, those are the steps down to the basement where the fire pit was. And you can see from the surrounding street, houses across there, they're a very similar style. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice, nice outlook. 
Yeah, and this is it from this side. They've got the like the black crittle kind of style, which gives it that modern fusion. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's about a wrap. So hope you guys enjoyed taking a look around this house with us. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to Matt from Dream Home Films for yeah. videoing us today. <laughs> thanks, Matt. Yeah, so if you guys want any more information about this house, the owner's details will be in the description. Yeah. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps us out. And then obviously subscribe if you want to see more of the most amazing houses around the and UK. And our second channel, we vlogged behind the scenes of today, filming three videos, so you can get kind of a bit of a gist of what goes on behind the scenes on filming these house tours. Meet some of the owners, out. see yeah. some of the agents and really see like what goes on. Yeah. Um, all the good times, but also some of the times as some well that make go it wrong. a bit challenging. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next video and make sure to subscribe for more.